Hey, what's up, guys? It's here, and today I'm reacting to the video. In this video, I'm going to be ranking every single FNAF character. There, there's, there's a lot, and since there's a lot, I, I have a lot of tiers here. And for this video, we're going to be ranking every single one. And I, I arranged them all in order. They were not in order before. This took quite a while, and I kept accidentally like leaving the page. So, I had to redo it like five times, and it took like 10, 20 minutes every single time, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get into it with Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear is the star of the show. Freddy Fazbear is an ultimate Chad. Okay, Freddy is going to go in A tier. Great, he's a great character. He, even if he wasn't the main character, he's still a great character. I really like Freddy. I love his design. I love his voice in FNAF AR. That's one of the things FNAF AR did really well, the voice. Um, I think it's really well done. Uh, and yeah, I really like his repair and uh, parts and service in FNAF VR as well. Uh, and he's the one that has... It, it's his name in the title, so... Yeah, he's gotta be pretty high, at least. So, Bonnie. Bonnie is good. I... By the way, I, I don't think I have too much time to explain why I put everyone in er, in any tier. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna explain briefly. Bonnie is a really cool character. I like his design. I... For some reason, it's still, like, debated whether he's blue or purple. <laughs> I always see him as blue. Especially in, in the FNAF VR model, he's clearly blue. Um, but, yeah. I, I don't know. I always just see him as blue. But, let me know in the comments. Wh what color do you guys think Bonnie is? <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I like Bonnie. Um, I like I like how he has red eyes, so he looks really evil. And in FNAF Plus, he looks like he's going to be creepy, too. Chica. Chica is heavily underrated. I'm going to put her in good as well. Um, not as... Actually, she might be tied with Bonnie, but, yeah. Um, Foxy. Foxy's a little bit overrated, I say, but that doesn't mean he's a bad character at all. I'd say he's in A tier, uh, as well. Um, again, I love his design. I like how he's unique from the rest of them. Um, Golden Freddy. Okay, classic Golden Freddy. I don't actually like as much as Withered Golden Freddy, but we'll get to him in, a, in like, a little bit later. Um... Classic Golden Freddy. I don't know whether to put him in good or great. He's definitely better than these two, but he, I'm not sure he's as good as these these two. I'll put him in great. Um, he's a great character, but I prefer it with a Golden Freddy. Phone guy. Perfection. <laughs> Endo 01. Um, whoops. Endo 01 is okay. Uh, I mean, it's just an Endo. Um... Uh, actually, I'll just put him in forgettable because he's just—he's just an endo. He's—he's he's really just like a shellless animatronic. So, um, I mean, he's not forgettable actually, but it's just like he doesn't belong in okay, but he doesn't belong in bad either. I don't know where to put him. Uh, I'll just put him in okay, I guess. Uh, Toy Freddy. I love Toy Freddy. He's annoying in Ultimate Custom Night, but. He, he's he's a cool character. I love his uh, voice, especially. It's so good. Jeez, um, oh, this is hard. I might put him in S tier. It's between S and A. I think I like him more than these three. Um, but it's hard to tell, hard to decide where to put him. I'm going to put him in A tier, but yeah, I, he's, he's more on the top of it, I'd say. Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie's okay. Or, not okay, he's good. Uh, B tier, I think, is where he belongs. He's... He's kind of annoying in FNAF 2, but... Um, I just like him as a character. I like his voice, actually. Even though he sounds like a chipmunk. I, I actually do like his voice. I think it fits him pretty well. Toy Chica. Toy Chica's voice is just, like... Creepy. <laughs> like... Yeah, she, like, especially in Ultimate Cosmic Night, but I don't know where to put Toy Chica. Probably with Toy Bonnie. I don't like her as much as Toy Bonnie, but, um, 
Yeah, okay. Mangle. Mangle. Whoops. Mangle is going in S tier. Mangle is such a cool character. I love the lore behind Mangle. Like the theories, whether it's like Mangle Dog or Mangle Duo or whatever you believe. But I just really like Mangle. I think they're a really cool character. Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy's okay. I mean, I don't hate him as much as the fan as the rest of the fandom does, but he's he's not really an interesting character. I just don't find him that annoying. He, uh, that's not why I put him as low as I did. Um, he's just yeah, I don't know. JJ, why do you exist? <laughs> why, why does balloon Why does balloon girl JJ exist? I don't know. Puppet. Puppet is going in SSS tier. Yes. The yes tier, as I like to call it. SS yes. That works. <laughs> um, yeah, Puppet is going there. Puppet is top tier for me. Okay. Withered Freddy. Withered Freddy is, is going to go in S tier. I love Withered Freddy. I like how he's basically... He's a really simplistic design, but he he's like more rusty, I guess. And he's not too withered but he's more rusty than withered and i like it I, I like his design i um he doesn't have a voice yet but it's probably just like a freddy fazbear voice but more glitchy but yeah withered bonnie withered bonnie is gonna go in sss top tier along with the puppet um okay withered chica withered chica is gonna go in s actually that may surprise you guys but i love withered chica i love her design and i love like her especially her jaw how it's like wide open it's really creepy her jump scare isn't great. She she like kind of like comes up from beneath you. Like where does she, where does she come from under your desk? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, not. Um, she belongs in S tier for me, honestly. Withered Foxy. I don't know. Withered Foxy, I'm gonna put in good actually. Not as good as regular Foxy, not at all. He's still a cool character though, but he's my least favorite of the Withers, honestly. I don't know why, I just don't like him as much. Wither Golden Freddy. You're gonna go in S tier. Um, I think I'd put you ab above Freddy and Chica, probably tied with Mangle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's Wither Golden Freddy. I don't know why I like him better than Classic Golden Freddy, I just do. Um, I think just, I just like the design a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Endo 2. Endo 2 is gonna go in the same place as Endo 01. <laughs> like, it's just an Endo. Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy's great. If without Shadow Freddy, more than 50% of the lore would not exist. Because without Shadow Freddy, there wouldn't be Follow Me, which wouldn't lead to Sis Location, which that means. And without um, Shadow Freddy, without Follow Me, William wouldn't be Springtrap. FNAF 3 wouldn't happen. FNAF 6 wouldn't happen. Ultimate Custom Night wouldn't happen. Um, FNAF VR, Security Breach, AR, they wouldn't happen without Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy is the, one of the most important characters in the franchise, even if people don't realize it. <sighs> yeah, he does one thing that, like, that sets the path for the in, for almost the entire series. Shadow Bonnie. Not as good as Shadow Freddy, but also in A tier, I think. The Crying Child. I'm guessing this is meant to be um, just any of the sprites, or maybe it's meant to be Puppet or like Charlotte Spirit. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna put you in honestly forgettable. I mean, I mean they're not really forgettable. It's just that since we have another separate character, the actual Crying Child or the Bite Victim, it's we think more about him when we when we hear the phrase Crying Child. I guess so. They're nobody really talks about them as this sprite i guess i mean everyone knows about the missing kids the dead kids but we don't really think of them like this anymore we kind of think of them how they're described in the fourth closet or or whatever or how we yeah like, yeah i guess so <laughs> um paper pals forgettable honestly that why 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 do they exist i don't they might go in why do you <laughs> exist now um they're they're forgettable i think um, Springtrap, you know where he's going. Phantom Chica, you're gonna go in D tier, Watermelon. Um, Phantom Foxy, you're gonna go in F tier because you're annoying as hell in FNAF 3. Phantom Freddy, Phantom Freddy's cool in FNAF VR. I like how he's like a, a completely different model. He's like Freddy, but like see-through, I guess. And I like that 
I like that you can actually see him on the cam on cam two when he starts walking by. You can see him for a split second. Um, and he looks a lot cooler in FNAF VR. I think I don't know why. I just think he looks cooler there. Um, fan all of the phantoms though are kind of meh for me. Uh, Phantom Balloon Boy. I I don't care about him. Um, Phantom Mangle. Probably my favorite Phantom, but still only okay. Phantom Puppet, I'm not a big fan. Put him in D. Nightmare Freddy. This might surprise you, but Nightmare Freddy is one of my favorite characters in the franchise. I don't know why. He's probably He probably has my favorite voice in the franchise. Again, I don't know why. I just love it so much. Um, and his design, above all else. His design is incredible. I don't... I just love Nightmare Freddy so much. Nightmare Bonnie... Nightmare Bon... I feel like all the Nightmares, like the main uh, three besides... Besides Freddy, like the main the core three that are not excluding Freddy. They're kind of o overshadowed by Freddy, I feel like. Because Freddy's such a good character in my eyes. And these guys are kind of just like, not forgettable, but I just don't care about them that much. I put Bonnie in good... Chica and okay, and Foxy and good as well. Maybe lower than that, actually. I don't know. I'll just leave them as good for now. Nightmare Fredbear, top tier. Nightmare S tier. I wouldn't say top tier, but S tier. The Freddles. The Freddles are really cool. I like how they're they're tied into Freddy. I mean, obviously they're tied into Freddy, but I like how they're they're the mechanic for Freddy. Like, you don't see Freddy on the bed, you see the, the Freddles, and if they get, and if there's too many for too long, then Freddy appears. But, yeah, I just, I, I like the Freddles a lot. Um, they can go in, I mean, I like them a lot, but not to the point where they're gonna go in, like, S tier or A tier. I'd put them in good, right? a, a B tier. Plush Trap. I love Plush Trap too. I'm not. I don't. I wouldn't put him in S tier, but I definitely put him in A tier. Uh, uh, I, I I like his. I like the recreation of his mini game in FNAF VR. Same with Nightmare Balloon Boy, but we'll get him in, to him in a second. Nightmare on is top tier. Nightmare on is one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. It's mostly due to their level in FNAF VR. It's not my favorite level. It's probably the scariest level though, and it's such a cool mechanic. It's. It's, it's just awesome. I love it. Um, that's the main reason Nightmare on so cool to me. Um, Jacko Bonnie is okay. Jacko Chica I like better than Jacko Bonnie. I'm going to put her... I'm going to put Jacko Chica in good. Um, but I don't really care about them too much because they're really just reskins. Nightmare Mangle. I actually do really like Nightmare Mangle. I don't know what it is. I just... I feel like he's really cool design of, like, re redesign of... Uh, Nightmare Foxy, and I feel like it, it's just really cool. I don't know. <laughs> Nightmare Balloon Boy. Okay, again, geez, so many left. <laughs> look how many we've done, and look how many there is left. Oh my god. I mean, it's mostly due to the skins. The skins I'm going to talk even less about than I'm than I'm talking about these guys. Um, Nightmare Balloon Boy is top tier. I don't know what it is. I just love Nightmare Balloon Boy. I think it's the voice and the design that really sell it for me. I don't find him that annoying in Ultimate Custom Night. Not nearly as much as other people do. He's just a cool character. He's amazing. Old Man Consequences. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I like the lore behind Old Man Consequences. Like the theories about him, about him and stuff. But him just as a character in general... Not really. Circus Baby. Okay, I know Baby's a fan favorite, but I've never been the biggest fan of her. Like, I like her. She's a cool character. I'd put her in A tier, but I wouldn't put her top tier, S tier, or perfection. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. Ballora. Ballora's good. Not as good as uh, Baby and these other fun time animatronics. She's probably my least favorite of the fun, of the fun times, but... She's still pretty cool. I like how she she and uh, Shattered Roxy from Security Breach have basically the same mechanic. Because um, they can't see you and they can hear you really well. Uh, Funtime Freddy. You know where he's going. Funtime Foxy. Great. I'd say great. I'd say I like... 
him. <laughs> I, I like Funtime Foxy better than Baby, but... I mean, not that much better. Um, Bon Bon, I'm gonna put in good. I like Bon Bon. I like the mechanic of Bon Bon in, um, FNAF AR with Funtime Freddy. Uh, I've never actually played it, because Illumix doesn't... For some reason, didn't think to give you a free Fre Funtime Freddy lore. From the gift, I don't know why. <laughs> um, Funtime Freddy's mechanic in general was kind of disappointing, but one of the non-disappointing parts was Bon Bon. How Bon Bon jumps out after you beat Freddy. That was really cool. Ennard. Ennard is another one where... I mean, I like I like him better than Baby. But he's another one where it's like... I do like him a lot, but not nearly as much as the rest of the Phantom seems to. Hand unit. Perfection. Uh... <laughs> Biddy Bab. Okay. Mini Rena. Again, okay. I don't really care that much about them. Yendo. Yendo's forgettable, honestly. I mean, they're just Funtime Freddy's endoskeleton, but with yellow eyes, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um. Okay. Bonnet. I think Bonnet is. Okay, let's say Yendo was the was the endoskeleton for like a different version of Funtime Freddy. I think Bonnet was supposed to be the hand like the Bonbon bon for Yendo. Um whatever Yendo was originally supposed to be like Funtime Fredbear or whatever, whatever you think. Um I think Bonnet was supposed to be the hand puppet. Um Where would Bonnet go though? Uh, okay. Not bad. Okay. Uh Lil bit. I like Lil bit a lot. I don't know why. I'm gonna say great. Uh, pretty cool character. I don't know. I don't know. I just really like Lil bit. Um, not as much as Funtime Foxy, but I like Lil bit's mechanic in the Funtime Foxy level of FNAF VR. Uh, that's uh, that's really cool. How like Lil bit is actually the main uh, antagonist in hard mode. That's cool. Electro Bab is forgettable. Magician is forgettable. Little Joe or Lally from Pizza Race Simulator. Perfection. <laughs> uh, okay. Molten Freddy. Same thing with Ennard. Cool character. I like Molten Freddy better than Ennard. At least a little bit better. Um, but... Yeah. I don't like him as much as the rest of the fandom seems to. Scrap Trap. See, this is the complete opposite. I think I like Scrap Trap... Ten times more than the rest of the Phantom does. The Phantom? The Fandom. I don't think he's S tier, but I'd definitely put him in A tier. Scrap Baby. Same A tier. I like Scrap Baby better than, than Circus Baby, honestly. I just like the design better, really. Um, but yeah. S Lefty. S tier. S tier, I'd say. Uh, Helpy. Helpy is perfection. Cassette Man, okay, Henry. Henry, I mean, I'm just gonna consider this as Henry as a whole. I'm gonna say Henry is a great character. Henry, like, we ha we don't see Henry much in the games, only really in FNAF 6, but I love the lore behind Henry. I love the back the backstory behind Henry. And yeah, he's just a really cool character. Uh, yeah. Rockstar Freddy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's okay. Ugh, Rockstar Bonnie. Bad. I don't know why. I just don't like Rockstar Bonnie. I don't like the mechanic in Ultimate Custom Night. Sometimes you can get lucky if you're doing like the cam stalling strategy. Sometimes you can get lucky and the guitar will appear on that camera if he does appear. Um, which he doesn't usually. He's pretty rare for him to appear. But... Um, that's really if you get lucky. I mean, he has a cool mechanic, it's just difficult. Um, it, it like, screws up your run if you're trying to, uh, to do a camp sawing strategy. Rockstar Chica. Rockstar Chica's good. I like Rockstar Chica's voice a lot. I like how, I like how she, like, sounds like an old grandma. <laughs> uh, Rockstar Foxy. Also good. I don't know. Not, not perfect. Not a great character. Not an incredible character, but not a bad one either. Orville. 
Okay. Don't care too much about Orville. You know exactly where he's going. Whoops, hit the mic. You know exactly where Mr. Hippo's going. And I'm not even going to explain. You know exactly why he's there. And you know that he should be there. Pig Patch. He's also going to go there. I love his voice lines. I love Pig Patch's voice lines so much. And I love the voice as a whole. Chris does a... Chris is a great voice actor. Uh, with Foxy, Pig Patch, Vlad, and Fred Bear in FNAF World. Great voice actor. Great voices for all four of them. Um, just He's just great. Uh, whoops. Uh, Ned Bear. I'd honestly say he's kind of forgettable. Because he's really just a ripoff of Freddy. Um, but a worse one. Much worse one. I do like his voice, though. Happy Frog, why do you exist? You belong there. <laughs> Music Man. I love Music Man. I'm just scared to reach. I love him even more. But I already really like Music Man. I love the voice, especially. And the design. He's just so creepy. And I never really noticed, but Music Man, not only DJ Music Man is massive, but regular DJ Music Man, he's also really big. Like, not DJ Music Man size, but he's pretty big. He's bigger than the rock stars. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Funtime Chica. Forgettable. Honestly, forgot she existed until uh, arranging this, this thing. Jesus Christ, there's still so many. L Chip, also kind of forgettable. Actually, not really anymore because of Security Breach with L Chips. But, I'd say okay. Security Puppet. Security Puppet's good. I like the design, how it's like a, a spin on the puppet. Uh, I like how it's like a split down the middle, so it's kind of like the fun time. It's like a fun time puppet, kind of. Um, even though I think fun time puppet is actually entered. <laughs> but, and yeah, I know that's a weird theory, but uh, I, I did a video on it a while ago when Jump for Tickets came out about coils. Uh, but yeah. All right, Candy Cadet. Perfection. Screw you. All right, cool. <laughs> DD. No. XOR. You're even worse. <laughs> okay. Fredbear. Fredbear is cool. I think I. I think great fits him. Yeah. Um. Golden Freddy is Fredbear, but kind of. Golden Freddy is Fredbear, but Fredbear isn't Golden Freddy, basically. They're, they're two different animatronics. It's just like one is. Golden Freddy is like a different suit, I guess. Because um, they are they coexist. So they can't really be the exact same suit. But yeah, Fredbear is a cool character. He's basically Golden Freddy, but different. He's the origin of the series. Like the, the lore, I guess. Um, so yeah, I just love, love Fredbear. Glitchtrap. One of my favorite characters, if not my favorite, SSS tier. Dark Freddy from FNAF VR. Forgettable. Neon Freddy from FNAF. I mean, Neon Bonnie from FNAF VR. Forgettable. Neon Chica. I might need to make a new tier called Traumatizing, because that's what she is. Um, <laughs> um, Neon Chica's not, not forgettable because she's traumatizing. <laughs> Um, like her level. So I'm gonna put her in... I might actually create that tier. Hold up. Traumatizing. Alright. And Neon Chica goes there. <laughs> so does DD. <Didi. laughs> uh, who else could go in traumatizing? That's, that's a question I'd like, I'd like answered. Who else could go in traumatizing? Anybody? Can anybody else go in traumatizing? No, I, th I think that's it. Uh, for now, at least. Okay. Burnt Fo- Whoops. Burnt Foxy. He's not forgettable, especially not for me, because he has probably my favorite level in all of FNAF VR, the, night the hard mode Foxy level. 
So I'd say good, but yeah. All right. Pretty sure this is supposed to be spring trap from hard mode entered vent repair. I'm guessing that's pretty sure it's just supposed to be dark spring trap that enter vent repair spring trap. So I'm going to say this is dark spring trap. It's basically just spring trap after the fire before he goes and rebuilds rebuilds himself as scrap trap. Um dark spring trap kind of forgettable, honestly, especially in enter vent repair. Nobody really cares about that about him that much. Uh shadow mangle also kind of forgettable. Shadow Mangle appears in uh, Mangle's hard mode event repair. Uh, that, there's two different enemies, one of them Shadow Mangle. Um, kind of forgettable. Dreadbear. Dreadbear is awesome. I'm going to say great. So, A tier. Uh, Grim Foxy is even cooler. I'm going to say S tier. Amazing. You're forgettable. <laughs> Plush Baby is... Um, I love the level. One of my favorites besides Hard Mode Foxy. Actually, Plush Baby and Hard Mode Foxy are both probably both my two top favorite favorite levels in, the, in FNAF VR. Um, so I'm going to put Plush Baby in good just for that reason. But the Plushkins, however, you are traumatizing. I hate you. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we're on to FNAF AR. Oh, yeah. You can see it takes up more than three rows. <laughs> my God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, fun, uh, or not Fun to Freddy. Freddy Frostbear. Freddy Frostbear is awesome. I'm going to say S tier. I don't know why. I love Freddy Frostbear, though. Uh, Shamrock Freddy. Why you exist? You're the one that spawned all the skins, man. Okay, Chocolate Bonnie. Chocolate Bonnie is a good FNAF AR skin. Uh, Easter Bonnie is a forgettable FNAF. Actually, no, it's Why Do You Exist? He's not actually... He's kind of forgettable, but he's like, why do you exist? You should have been like a Chica skin or something for like the chicken, the chocolate chicken things for Easter, right? And I'm pretty sure there was meant to be an Easter Chica skin, right? Wasn't that found in the files or whatever? Um, okay. VR Toy Freddy. One of the best skins, honestly. High score Toy Chica. Also really good, but um, not good enough to be in good, I think. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put her in good. Sister Mary Toy Bonnie is even better. 8-Bit Baby is not technically a skin, so I'm going to move her elsewhere. But it's just going to be based on design. 8-Bit Baby's great. Radioactive Foxy is one of my favorite skins as well. Toxic Springtrap is probably my favorite skin. Firework Freddy. <laughs> perfection. <laughs> Liberty Chica, perfection. All right. Flamethrower Bear Endo, also good. Broiler Baby's fine. Scorching Chica's kind of bad. She's just plain. Flaming Springtrap is really cool too. Ringmaster Foxy's one of the better skins. Magician Mangle, fine, honestly. Not nothing really special about it. Like it's cool the effects and stuff of like the floating, but it's not like just the skin overall. Like its design, not great. I'm not even gonna say any words. That he belongs there. Okay, Katrina Toy Chica. She looks pretty cool. Uh, not the biggest fan of her though. You. Uh, what's your name? Woodland Toy Freddy. You're a good skin. I like the. I like a lot of the skins. The skins are really cool, even though they kind of like just waste, like, time. I guess for Illumix to be working on actual new characters. Like, they they just, like, take up their time, I guess. But at least they're new content. Um, but I don't play FNAF, VR, FNAF AR. I can't really play FNAF AR because my phone's, like, it can't handle it even though it is it is technically compatible. I don't know. Um, uh, what's her name? Boulder Toy Bonnie. Oh, I really like Boulder Toy Bonnie because I actually predicted it. I remember they, I remember there was a Toy Freddy skin. And I was like, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be a Toy Bonnie skin next. Um and it one of the like the teasers for, it was like, um you better be bolder to face this next animatronic. I was like, Boulder? Hmm, that could fit with like the the foresty kind of um like the the nature kind of skin theme. So I predicted it would be boiler boulder toy bonnie, and people were just like 
It's saying boulder as in like brave, man. You idiot. And then, <laughs> and I was right. I was actually right that it would be boulder to Oibani. And that's why I really like it. I predicted one of the skins. And I like that. Worst skin in FNAF AR, by far. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, what's her name? Black Ice Frostbear. Honestly, you don't belong in uh, good FNAF AR skins. You belong in Amazing. You're probably my favorite skin. Um, you and Toxic Springtrap. Um, Black Ice Frostbear and Toxic Springtrap are definitely my top two favorite skins. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Arctic Ballora. Arctic Ballora is a pretty cool skin. I like her design. She's kind of just like frozen, though. <laughs> she looks like she came out of Frozen, so. Perfection. Frost plus trap is kind of, kind of forgettable. I mean, it's really just plus trap but blue with a couple icicles sticking out of him. He's really just a really plain skin, and I feel like nobody really cares about him that much. So I'd say he's kind of forgettable. Heartsick baby, you're fine. Same with um, what's your name? Black heart Bonnie, I think something like that. I think it's Black heart Bonnie. Yeah, serpent mangle, you're fine. The curse. <laughs> I don't know. The what's it called? The ancient equinox or something like that. That event is just weird. <laughs> I I don't know what to think about it. <clears throat> oh god. Okay, so curse is gonna go in fine. I mean, he looks kind of cool. It's just weird as hell. That's why I don't like them as much. Melted chocolate Bonnie. All right. I have some strong feelings against chocolate, Melted Chocolate Bonnie. It's a really cool skin. It's a really cool concept. But it's a wasted potential. They should have done, for some type of summer event or something, Melted Frost Bear. But they did Melted Chocolate Bonnie over Melted Frost Bear. That's probably the reason I don't like Melted Chocolate Bonnie that much. I like the design better than regular Chocolate... Whoops. I like the design better than regular Chocolate Bonnie, but it's just like... It was a missed opportunity. And that's why I just don't really like him that much. So I'm going to say, why do you exist? Little Red Chica. Oh my god. These skins are ridiculous. <laughs> what is... What are these skins? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay. You're gonna go in bad, honestly. But two Chica skins are in bad. That's kind of sad. That rhymes. Perfection. That, no, no skin is better than Grandma Foxy. Oh, I, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Uh, Jesus. What's this thing called? Sea Toy Bonnie, yeah. Sea Bonnies, no. <laughs> Uh, for, I forgot you existed. Piranha Plus Trap, you're fine. Clockwork Bullora, I believe you're, you're called, you're fine. What are you called? Aeronaut Toy Freddy, I believe. Yeah, Aeronaut Toy Freddy. You're fine. Jetpack Bloop. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Jetpack Balloon Boy. <laughs> it's funny because... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Swamp Balloon Boy went in No Why Do You Exist, and the other two Balloon Boy skins both went in perfection. <laughs> balloon Boy skins. <laughs> Quality content. Oh, Jesus Christ. Great Escape Golden Freddy is one of the better skins. I'll put you up here with in Amazing with the other, with the Frost Bears. Oh, now we're on to Security Breach Animatronics. And after that, we're on to the humans, the Afton family, besides Mrs. Afton. Okay, so, 
Glamrock Freddy, you go in A tier. You are a legend, my friend. Mont... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. You guys are going to see in part two of the Afton family, like the race to get... Not the Afton family. The race to beat Security Breach, the Afton family ep episode. The first episode of that series. The Afton family. Part two of episode one. You will see exactly why i now hate monty so stay tuned for that video <laughs> okay and if you haven't already check out part one of that um but yeah monty screw you screw you oh my god okay glamrock chica good roxy also okay you're pretty good um son you go in s tier Awesome. I love the sun and moon. Moon is going in SSS, though. Vanny would go in SSS, but we don't see her nearly enough in Security Breach, so that's why she's down there. Same with Burn Trap, but since he's a version of William Afton, and just the design, the reveal of him, like, <clears throat> the entire boss fight and the ending was kind of anticlimactic, but the reveal of him coming out of the tank was so cool i mean i was in the middle of a conversation about music man being in the pizza flex um which makes sense because of fnaf 6 underneath it i was <laughs> i was distracted talking about that and all of a sudden i see this thing coming out of the out of the tank and i was like oh what the frick uh the reveal it was just so cool the boss fight was probably the best boss fight in the game the ending was actually really cool it was just there wasn't enough of it that was the problem with it but I do hope that in the future, Afton, Burn Trap, Burn Trap, and the Blob combine, and that creates the Afton amalgamation. I'll talk about that in a future theory of a princess quest, which I started writing today. Um, but yeah, you'll see. That I really, I really hope that happens for like a DLC, and I hope we get a really satisfying ending for William Afton, because if what we saw in the Afton ending was the end, that's that's not really that satisfying, honestly. The Blob. I put the Blob in Amazing. I love the concept. I love the design. Again, I just wish we would have seen him more. Otherwise, would have been SSS tier. Next up, Wind Up Music Man. Wind Up Music Man goes in great. I like you better than regular Music Man. Honestly, I love the design. I like how they're like they're smaller. They're a wind up toy. I mean, they're talking. That's obviously, they're a wind up toy, and I like how they're like withered too. Um, and I like the 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 message where it's like one of the, one of them is missing. Um, it looks like someone broke in and stole it, but there's no signs of a break in, so that clearly implies that it broke out itself. And that that might even be why it's withered because it like smashed itself or something. But yeah, DJ Music Man, S S S tier, one of my favorite characters in the series. Same with Moon, they're they're tied for me. But both of them, some of my favorite characters in the entire series now. They're so cool. Again, I just wish we would have seen more of them. But from what we did see, absolutely incredible characters. The Endos. Okay. Well, they're just Endos. Again, I'll put them in okay. They're cooler than these ones. I like the design better. Um, it's kind of like Endo 2, but with like extra wires and stuff. But yeah. The Wet Floor Sign, aka Pat Pats, as, as Daco calls them. Perfection. No one goes. No one can be higher than the than Pat Pat. Pat Pat is the best character in the series. <sighs> I just noticed this entire row and a decent portion of the of the final row are all staff bots. There's so many staff bots. Oh no. Okay, regular staff bots. Okay. You, terrible, screw you, no, actually no, 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 why do you exist? Matt Bot, legend, perfection, the race car, forgettable, forgettable, do you even appear in the game? <laughs> uh, you, you're more forgettable than these guys, honestly. Uh, you, I'm gonna put in, uh, good, it's, it's actually a kind of cool feature in Fazer Boss to have these... Uh, staff boss and when you shoot them in the face they blow up and turn into this one which is interesting 
Actually, I'm gonna skip ahead, right ahead to that one. Uh, I'm gonna put you up here in good with the with the other one, the Space Invader one. The Pizza Bot. This is from the section of the game where we are um, a Pizza Bot making pizza for Chica when she's outside our door in the uh, in the the kitchen by the loading dock area, and we also see the full model of it in the kitchen in the atrium. And I like the design, actually. Uh, Doc will call them Luigi. I'm going to call them Luigi. Luigi goes in B tier. The Nightmare on Staff Bots. I don't know what it is about them. I just love their design so much. I'm going to put them in S tier. Not SSS, but S tier. They belong there, in my opinion. I don't even know what these three are meant to be. So I'm going to put them in Forgettable. Like They just look like regular-ass Staff Bots. And we already talked about them as a whole. So I'm just going to put them in Forgettable. This one's more purple, but I don't know. All right, Gregory. Gregory is going to get an A tier from me. Um, I feel like he will be a better character if he's not a robot. It's possible he's a robot, but I doubt it. But um, what we want to be canon and what actually is canon, they're not. They're, they're two separate things. It, if Gregory's a robot, even if you dislike it, it doesn't stop it from being canon. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put Gregory in A tier. Um, even if he is a robot, I'm going to keep him there. I think I'd like him better if he wasn't, but it would still be an A tier no matter what. The Circus Baby Snap Bots. These are, these are specifically the ones from uh, the Ice Cream Parlor. I'm going to put you in... I might put you... Hmm. Okay. Uh, you are forget... What, are, what even are you? Oh, I think... Are those like the ones from the safety rules in the endo section? I don't know what these are. Okay, the Afton family ones. I mean, as characters, they're just Afton family co decorated staff bots. They're really nothing special. So I'm going to just put them all in bad, honestly. <laughs> Who cares? Um, uh, the Mike one, the William one, and the bite victim one. Okay. And now on to the Afton family. William Afton... You know the answer. Michael Afton. Yeah, you go there. I, I wouldn't say he's SSS, but he's definitely S tier. The Bite Victim. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> the Bite Victim. Great. They're great character. And Elizabeth, the final one. I'm going to also put you in great. So that's my tier list, guys. Of every FNAF character. For some reason, Vanessa's not here. And neither are the Shadow and... Uh, the Shatter and... Uh, security regen animatronics, but it doesn't really matter. Vanessa is probably Vanny anyway, and the Shattered animatronics, they're they are the same thing as the original Glamrock, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, that's my tier list, guys. In top tier, we have the Pup... I'm not going to list through everything. I'm, I'm just going to list through the important tiers. In SSS, yes tier, aka top tier. Puppet, DJ Music Man, Withered Bonnie... Springtrap, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare Yon, Nightmare Balloon Boy, Funtime Freddy, Glitchtrap, Moon, Burn Trap, and Willie Mafton. Wait, how many how many versions of Willie Mafton are in this tier? <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> there's four different Willie Maftons in this tier. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and then there's another one, uh, I think, yeah, down here. Um, in Perfection, we have Phone Guy, Hand Unit. Uh, Little Joe, Helpy, Mr. Hippo, Pig Patch, Candy Cadet, Pan Stan, Firework Freddy, Liberty Chica, Clown Springtrap, Abominable Balloon Boy. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what even is your name? Well, I don't remember what your name is. Icicle Balloon Boy? Something like that. Grandma Foxy. No one's better. These two are tied, honestly. What What even are you? What? I don't remember your name. I know. I just know you're an endo skin. A what? A sea. An ocean endo skin. I don't remember what you're called though. Jetpack Balloon Boy, absolute legend. Uh, wet floor sign, aka Pat Pat. Yep, of course. And Map Bot. And no, no, no. Why do you exist? We have JJ, Happy Frog, Mr. Can Do. The only reason I put him down there is because he's just annoying and also we got some night because he appears on on a random camera. So if you're attempting 50 20 mode, he can get in the way of of the Toy Freddy screen and then you're already done for. So that's why I put him down there. Um, XOR, Shamrock Freddy, Easter Bonnie, uh, Swamp Balloon Boy, Melted Chocolate Bonnie, and the Security Bots. So yeah, that's all. That's my list. That's my tier list for every FNAF character. Let me know 
Yeah, don't let me know your tier list in the comments because that would just take way too long. But, um, yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you, like, agree with a lot of my picks or who you would change around. Uh, or, the, like, the major ones that you would change around. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm probably going to do... I have two theories ready and another one uh, in the works right now. Uh, I still need to record and edit those. And I still have to edit part two of episode one of the Race to Beat Security Breach. Uh, there's also a Princess Quest ending one where we did. Uh, we, we recorded and I have to edit that as well. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. And yeah, bye guys. Peace.